part one, we talked about people using gear that's too heavy, like line and swivels, which can spook trout who have pretty good eyesight. Part two, we talked about bait. Today, we're gonna talk about change. Here in Mass, the trout bite can be finicky, mainly because they're stocked in lakes and ponds that are insanely pressured. At least where I'm at, closer to Boston, the banks are usually packed with people shoulder to shoulder. So it's super important to identify when something's not working and switch accordingly. If you're not getting bites and it's been over an hour, it's probably time to change things up. You can change things like your bait, switching from power bait to crawlers. You can change the length of your leader. It could be hugging the bottom, in which case shortening your leader line could help. You could change the presentation entirely and go from fishing off the bottom to fishing a bobber off the top. Or you could not even use bait altogether and go for an inline spinner, a Rapala, a spoon, or flies. All this to say, there are a bunch of different strategies that catch stalkers. They're all tools that work in their own way, and the best thing you can do is to learn a bunch and be ready to switch when needed. Stock Trout Mistakes 3. So 